Today we're going to talk about Raven of the Inner Palace, Episode 3. So, keep on watching. It's quite uh, a case Susu handled in this episode. But let's not get ahead of ourselves, guys. First order of business is the thumbnail. Well, in typical Raven Consort fashion, Zuzu shows the Emperor the door again, but this time uh, in, in, uh, in a more simple manner. <laughs> I'm practically clueless right now after watching the episode for the dynamic between uh, between the Raven Consort and the Emperor. So last episode, they were really tayo, so I don't see. Pero dito, puti ka ng matawi. It just goes to show you that um, he may be the emperor, but when it comes to the Raven Consort, he's just an ordinary person. Right? Ito talaga yung uh, backdoor politics na nangyayari during uh, during those times in uh, ancient China. May mga ganito talaga sila mga may mga arrangements within the inner palace. Uh, the final scene that this thumbnail came from, yeah, typically shows how um, how much of a little emperor the Raven Consort is, si Zuzu. Kasi, she's the only one in the inner palace practically to talk back at the emperor like this. Na, yung literal talagang pwede niyang palayasin ang emperador sa sarili niyang palasyo. <laughs> And which makes it, which makes it a, um, uh, a light-hearted comic moment. <laughs> no matter how powerful the emperor is, when it's when it already concerns the Raven Consort, no, he's just a commoner. <laughs> He'll be treated like a commoner here when she, uh, when he steps, when he sets foot on on the Raven Consort's palace. So. Grabe. Now, <laughs> let's get to the nitty gritty of the episode, guys. Face! Maganda yung build up sa episode na to. It was slow, pero naging excruciating lang yung face nung nagkaharap ang uh, si Zuzu and yung potential na main villain ng anime. Yeah, that's the way I see this guy. This entity? Reminder guys, Raven of the Inner Palace is also a detective anime. So, very relevant ang ganitong klaseng pacing sa, uh, sa episode na to. Kasi, well, uh, Zuzu is trying to solve a case eh, that only the, Ra only the Raven Consort can solve. Hence, the slow and eventual excruciating pacing. Then of course, uh, they bring you to the final scene where in... Mina. <laughs> Flow naman! First gear sheet here was when uh, her client, si, si, si Lady Hanyang, well, si, itong second consort ng Emperor. Right? And right now, walang Empress, walang asawa ng Emperor. So yeah, she's... She's right there. She's next in line to become his wife. Now, she consulted Zuzu on a matter of well, personal, personal romantics, so to speak. Bottom line, why did I call this a gear ship? It just goes to show you how influential the Raven concert can be. Kay pa kapa na court ladies ang humingi sa kanya ng tulong, talaga humingi siya ng tulong. Because number one there, uh, hindi siya napaseselosa ng mga ibang ng mga ibang consort ng emperor. Because hindi siya sumisipi sa emperor. Night time, yun ang night time duty sa tinatawag. So there won't be any jealousy involved. So when any time one of the consorts approach Susu, malubog niya sa sa pinin kung ano ang gusto nila ni pagawa sa Raven consort. So yeah, that that shows you how influential the Raven concert can be. Major, right now, as I think of it, 
it can be scary sometimes. Taking your ship. Plus, hang on, like a, uh, like a, like a golden dice, just a while ago. Suzu, uh, meets the probable main villain. Kasi, dito niya, well, due to, uh, due to the assist by one of, um, one of the Emperor's men, they were able to save this court lady from, yep, from getting, from getting her neck gouged by the ghost of this villain. What's scary about this main villain? Eh, mukhang kilalang kilala niya si Suzu. Mukhang kilalang kilala niya. At mukhang alam din niya kung ano pinagdaanan nito right after their dynasty got toppled by, by the current one. <sighs> wow, scary, no? Scary, isn't it? Yeah. That's why I call it the gear shift. Because practically the main villain of this anime was was introduced right here in this gear shift. Final gear shift was yeah, the final scene. Zuzu shows the emperor. Zuzu shows the emperor the door again. <laughs> Pero may laman yung uh, may laman yung sinabi niya rin eh. The uh, the Raven Consort and the Emperor are like oil and water. So why they are like the Emperor? Why 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 So which led which led now to the actual final scene wherein uh pinauugkap na niya ang nakaraan ni Susu. So these three pictures that I saw it may or may not define uh this episode. So I strongly suggest guys you watch the whole episode. Pero itong tatlong version na to ang nagsilbing cambio sa buong storyline ng episode na to. Plot lines. <sighs> you know? Yeah. May backstory sequence eh. Pero, yung pangalawa, so maligli. The first one was the actual opening scene. Plachado ang plot, guys. I couldn't conclude it to be a to be a clean plot eh. Although the first uh, the first backstory sequence was the uh, was the opening sequence of the entire episode, which which is an ideal placement for backstory sequences. Okay, it can also serve as, a, as an explainer sequence for the entire episode. Pero dito it only served as the um, the basis for Zuzu's current mindset. Kung paano siya hinubog ng dating ng ng kanyang successor, ng, uh, ng kanyang uh, predecessor, yung kanyang mentor in the, for the, the previous Raven Consort. So that, that typically explains it. Then, of course, it's all to the, it's all to the actual storyline of the episode itself, eventually leading to, yeah, the case being solved. Kung dinigyan nila ng malinis sa plot to, without even uh, without even without even deep diving into Susu's current mindset as the current Raven consort, baka hindi natin na eh. Baka hindi natin na-appreciate yung episode. So, yeah, those backstory sequences were well placed. At saka yung ano eh, yung, yung pangalawang backstory sequence, in afterthought basis na lang ni Susu. You can also consider the second backstory sequence as uh, as another explainer sequence, dahil yung main protagonist mo ang nagkikwento. Bottom line. So, taste, plot, and plot, they all came together for this episode, folks. Talagang, I'm going to repeat myself from what I said in the last review of this anime. This one is a gem. And episode 3, yup, clearly showed us why. So, Raven of the Inner Palace, Episode 3, No Brainer. Here's my party shot for, for this particular episode. I love this anime's way of mixing mysticism with, uh, with, 
with the elements of a detective anime. Because the Raven concert is also involved in mystic arts. If you'd seen if you see the episode already, she literally turned uh, a doll na pinagpaluda niya ng kanyang buhok into a into a roll. Talagang naging uwak. <laughs> At yun ang anong lumipad, yun ang sinundan niya hanggang sa uh, hanggang sa Dumako dun sa pinaghanap, sa hinahanap nilang bagay. He was able to seek it out. So, wow. Grabe. So, if you're into... Huwag ko pa natin, huwag mo na namin uh, i-deem ito as a romance anime. Kasi hindi, hindi pa naman full-blown, hindi naman full-blown romance anime ito eh. There, there are romance elements, especially uh, during the last episode. But, I think it's mainly a supernatural and a detective anime. Unique about the detective anime, nito. Oh, three episodes in, yeah, I can see that now. So, what are you waiting for, guys? Come on, let's watch the next episode. So again, Raven of the Inner Palace, episode three. Good